This is how you set up a Titan wallet, fund it, and then start trading. I'm gonna show you the two different ways. You've got the wallet that's within the Telegram app itself, and then the browser wallet. Now down below there are timestamps, so you can go forward to the one that you wanna see to help you navigate the video easier. Also, this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before moving in on the crypto and Web3 space. Now, first up, the wallet that's within Telegram itself, so the one that you can use on your phone, but you can also use desktop as well. You need to add WalletBot, which is at wallet, and then you're given this page when you then open it up. You then hit send a message and then you'll get here. Now with this wallet app, what you can do is you hit the wallet button and then this will bring up your wallet. Now these words that are on screen, I've blanked them out so you can't see them. Write them down on a pen and paper, keep it somewhere that only you will have access to it. So if someone goes through your emails, goes through your um, sort of cloud server, whatever it is, they're not gonna be able to take your assets. Now this also means that you're able to then recover your wallet. Now there are two different variations on the wallet that is within the Telegram app itself. So the wallet bot, you've got Ton coin, um, Bitcoin, not coin, and your dollars. Now these are a wallet that you don't have the private key for. For. So you don't technically own, well, you own it, but you don't have ownership in true Web3 sense. But then you've got the Ton Space wallet, which is the Web3 wallet that you're going to use when you're actually doing a lot of trading yourself. But this is the wallet that you actually have the private key for. So it means that you can put it into other wallets. So if you do load up the Ton coin um, within this wallet app, you can't export this wallet and put it into another wallet or another, just into anything else later. You'll only be able to do it with the Ton space one. Now to find the wallet when you're in the phone, if you actually head to settings, there'll be this section here where it's wallet and then you'll be able to access the wallet. Now to fund the wallet, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy the address. So to fund the Ton Space Beta Wallet, click on the address, and then to send it, you have a couple of different ways. One of them, you could send it from a centralized exchange that sells Ton. So uh, I don't think Coinbase has it, but some others here in Australia, there are a couple of different exchanges that do it, which is fine. So you can buy it on a centralized exchange and send it that way. The other way that you could do it is you use something like SimpleSwap. Now, uh, you do need to do your own due diligence. You need to, I always do a small amount to make sure that you're not gonna get scammed, gonna get rugged, etc. But the idea here is you paste in the wallet address that you actually wanna send it to. And then you could convert something like Ethereum, Solana, whatever, and it'll go to the wallet. And basically you're good to go. You've got a wallet that's on your phone, that's on your desktop that you can then use, and it's all within the Telegram app. Now, next up is the Ton Keeper wallet. This is the browser wallet. Now to find this one, the best and safest way is to go to something like X or Twitter and go to the Ton Keeper account, because then you know you'll get to the right spot. If you do go to Google and type in Ton Keeper wallet, you should get it, but I say should, because there could be people that want to pay for ads that will kind of hide their URLs, change their URLs to then uh, essentially siphon funds and things like that. That's happened before with other wallets, other chains. So the safest thing to do is usually head to the X account and then go from that way. 300 and almost 350 followers. It's got all of these other mutual followers. So that's where I trust it. And then I'll also verify to see that it is the same address that I can see up here just to be safe. Then what you need to do is you need to download the um, wallet for the browser that you have. And I'm using Chrome. So here we go, download Chrome. You do have other options. Um, to download to iOS, but we're just using the in-browser one for now. What you can then do is when you get to this page, this is the Chrome store and it'll be different for whatever browser you want to do, add to Chrome, add the extension, and there we go, Tonkeeper has been added to my browser. Now, if I click on this, go down, I'll be able to click on Ton Keeper Wallet. Now this will bring up the wallet and this will let me set it up now. Now we hit get started. Now we're going to create a new wallet because we're creating a new wallet, but you can import an existing wallet. If you've watched that previous section, this is what I mean by importing an existing wallet. Um, so create new wallet. What this will then do is it'll bring it up open. And then this is where you write down your recovery phrase. Now, these words that are on screen, I've blanked them out so you can't see them. Write them down on a pen and paper, keep them safe. Don't take a screenshot. Don't uh, save this uh, to a cloud. Don't email it to yourself because it will make it easier for people to um, get you. It'll then make sure that you confirm that you've actually got the wallet and then you create a password. And there you go, wallet set up, easy as that. Now, what I like to do is for the wallets that I actually use, with the extensions up in the top right, I actually like to hit the pin. So now I have easy access to it instead of having to scroll down the bottom. Now, when I open up the Ton wallet, there are two different ways that I can get the address that I wanna send my Ton to to fund it. You can just click on this number here and you can see it says copied, it copies that address, or I can hit receive and then it'll give me this address here. You can also hit copy the address. What we can then do is head to something like SimpleSwap uh, and what 
we'll do is we will exchange some Solana for Ton and we will do 0.1 Sol, hit exchange, paste in the address. I'm going to hit agree to not provide memo. Memos are just uh, something that's included on the chain that you can actually use. Uh, we don't need that for now. We then hit create exchange and then it'll give me an address. So I'll copy that address, then back up to something like Phantom, hit Solana, paste in the address 0.1, then hit next, hit send, and then we're good to go. Now you don't need to use something like Simple Swap if you can buy it on the exchange that you usually use. That's good, it can cut out this step. If you don't have that option, this is another option because if you're watching this, you've most likely got some Solana, you've got some Ethereum, you've got some other crypto elsewhere and you can do this. Now this process usually takes sort of 10 minutes or so. I'm just gonna fast forward and get right to the good stuff. But yeah, um, be patient, it does take a little bit of time. Whenever I use one of these services, I like to send a small amount to make sure that actually goes through before I then send a larger amount. And now that you've got your Ton wallet set up, here is how you could buy some, uh, just <laughs> buy some meme coins. What you do is you hit connect wallet in the top right. We hit Ton Keeper, browser extension, and it'll pop open the browser extension. Hit connect wallet. Now we're going to trade some of our Ton for, um, let's pick some fun. You know what, let's go. I do like, well, let's pick some not coin paste in that address, here's Notcoin, there we go. And we'll buy one ton, hit swap, confirm swap. It will pop up with uh, confirming the transaction. And then here we go. So you can see the fee here, it says it's 0.04 ton, but you will need to have a little bit more in there. And this is happening in real time. It's not as fast as a Solana. It's not as fast as Ethereum. It's kind of a, I'm not saying it's clunky of a chain, but yeah, it just isn't as fast, but like with friction and all of this kind of stuff, it, it can be bullish. And if you can make some money, people don't really care. There we go. So yep, that's how you can set up your Ton wallet, fund it and buy some of those coins. Now, a little side note with how gas works on the chain, you will need to have 0.3 to 0.5 ton in your wallet, even though gas might be 0 0.1, 0 0.05, like something very small. The way that the chain works is it spends a lot of gas to make sure the transaction goes through, then it does a refund for you. Here's some screenshots of some transactions I've done. Even though I spend a lot on gas, you get it back. So if you are buying anything, if you are doing anything on chain, have a little bit more. It, unlike um, Ethereum, unlike Solana, where um, it gives you the accurate representation of what your fee is going to be, they overestimate the fee and then you get a refund back. So don't freak out if the fee looks high, but it also means that if you've got, say, um, 10 ton in your wallet and you wanna buy something for 10 ton, you're actually gonna have to buy nine ton worth of it to have that one ton, 0.5 ton, there and available just so the transaction can go through. It's a little bit weird in that sense. So yeah, keep that in mind, it's a little quirk. So I want to keep that as simple as possible. If you wanna know how to trade ton meme coins and do all that good stuff, I'm gonna be releasing more videos. But in this video, I just wanted to get straight into the point for you. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it provided a bit of insight and a little bit of help navigating the ton ecosystem. Go down there, drop some love. I'd very much appreciate it. I had a pleasure making this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.